Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Today we're going to be doing another top 10 list. Why? Because I know you guys enjoy these. So today we're doing a Harbor Freight top 10 hand tools list. Now, how did I pick the tools for this list? Well, I looked at a couple different things such as usability, practicality, versatility, affordability, and durability. So all these are the kind of tools that you're going to be using most of the time. So I thought this could be also like a good shopping list. In case you don't have some of these, you know what you're looking for. Anyway, before we get started on the list, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy talking about tools, top 10 lists, doing DIY projects, working around the house, working on your car, stuff like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button because that's the kind of stuff we do here and you want to get notified whenever I produce another video. So let's get started right off the bat. Let's go to the list. Start off with number one. The first item on the list is going to be your extended reach screwdrivers. Now these are from Pittsburgh and they come with a lifetime warranty. They are 16 inches long and that's the length of the blade itself from end to, to end right there. And it comes with a flat blade or a Phillips head. And the Phillips is a Phillips 4x16. And the flat head is a 38 by 16 And Harbor Freight rates it at 16 inches, which is this length right here. But if you go all the way to the end, it's actually 21 inches. So consider you may get the extra uh, length here and may be useful to you in some way. And they are very well made, very strong, and they do come with uh, caps on the end. So if you have a screw or something that is stuck and you can't move it, a uh, few good taps on the end here, and you may get it to break loose. So very useful, good for extended reach, things you can't get to very easily with a regular screwdriver, and they're not very expensive. I'll put up uh, an image of what the current price is right now, so that we all know what it's going for. I got these a while back. I didn't pay as much as what they are now, but prices change all the time. Moving on to the next item. Next item, a pry bar set. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen these by now. They have them on the catalog all the time. They have them on sale. They have them with coupons. You can get these Probably, I think most of the time, they come in the catalog with a coupon for like around $10 or something like that. They're not very expensive, but again, I'll put up whatever the current price is so you know what it's going for. Always keep an eye out for the catalogs, the coupon books, online, whatever the case may be. You can get prices cheaper than whatever I'm putting on the, on the image right now. So, pry bar set. Four pry bars, different sizes. I've had these for quite a long time, used them for many different things. I don't know if you can tell or not, but they're all scratched up and so forth because I've used them for a lot of different things, and they've worked out just fine. Uh, some people complain that they may flex a bit, but you know what? I think that may be part of the design. It may be flexing so it doesn't break or something. I don't know, but I haven't had a problem with them. I find them very satisfactory. So for an inexpensive price, a four pry bar set, I think that is a good item right there. And let's move on to the next one. Talking about long, long length tools, how about a breaker bar? There you go. This is a 24, 25 inch breaker bar. I forget how they classify it. I'll look that up. But either way, 24, 25 inches, it is quite long. Let's look at technically what it is because sometimes they will put one inch. Yeah, it's 24 inches. So you get two feet of breaking power right there. So 24 inch breaker bar. Harbor Freight, it is chrome vanadium. I don't know if you can see that or not. Chrome vanadium, good strong metal, easy to clean, very nicely polished, good quality. I have used these on a lot of things and break, broke, you know, broken things loose with no trouble whatsoever. Uh, this is good for breaking lugs loose off your tires and so forth. You're going to use it quite a bit. If you do automotive work and all that, you're going to wind up using this at some point or another. So it's an inexpensive item to keep in your toolbox for when you need it. It'll come in very handy. And talking about breaker bars, let's move on to the next item. The next item is an extendable ratchet. Now, I've mentioned this in a previous video, and I still consider it to be a very useful tool. It is a Pittsburgh tool, and it is an extendable ratchet. This is the half-inch one, 
It comes in two different flavors, the half inch, which what I have here, and you can get one that is a combination, which is has two heads on it. One is three eighths, the other one on the back is one quarter. I didn't get that for the reason that I thought it stuck out too far. So that would be very difficult to get into tight quarters. So I prefer the one half inch. And the whole reason of having an extendable one is you're going to need some uh, the length to give you strength to break something loose at some point. This has quite a few detents where you can stop it along the way. So you can go from breaker bar size all the way down to regular size. And uh, like it has the uh, uh, on and off or forward and reverse back here. It has the push button for releasing the sockets easily without having to struggle with it. It has a good head with a lot of different detents on it. So you don't have to move it very much to get it to click. So it's quite good. And when it's closed like this, because it's inside of itself, two tubes, one inside the other, it is quite hefty. And it'll give you good breaking strength when you're trying to get something loose. So it is a good one. Uh, a lifetime warranty, like I said, Pittsburgh. And uh, I'll put up whatever the current price is. I believe it's around $20. So it's not a very expensive item. And any problem, take it back. They'll give you a new one. So you can either look at this whether you have the if you combine the two together you pretty much have everything you need because you have a medium breaker bar and a long breaker bar between the two of these you got it covered you're going to be all set so let's move on to the next one and the next item let's talk about ratcheting wrenches now these come in both metric and sae and they come in a couple different flavors. You can get the box ends on both sides, or you can get box end and open. They sell both these different types, insets or loose, whatever you desire to get. Uh, these, I don't need the open end so much because I already have plenty of open-ended ones. So I have a few of the loose ones like this. And this, I got the whole set because I thought it was more convenient sometimes to switch from one to the other as you're doing stuff. Sometimes the two sizes are very close very convenient and this one has the multitude of sizes that I'm going to use on a more regular basis so that's why I got a set for this one they're not very expensive and the $20 range I believe I got this set on sale for around $18 and I'll put up to whatever the current price may be but always look for sales that is the thing to keep your eyes open for these come in very handy in a multitude of different uh, ways when you're using them when you're used to using the non-ratcheting set and you switch over to these you wonder what took you so long because they are so convenient to use on a regular basis and the head fortunately these do not let me point this out first they do not have the little switch on the side here to switch from forward to the reverse the way to use these is that if you're using them in one direction and you need to switch it around you flip it over and then you go in the opposite direction they don't have the switch on the side some people may find that annoying but I think it's beneficial because without the switch on the side, it means that the head is smaller. And the reason you're going to be using these on a more regular basis is because you need to get into tight places. So you want to have the smallest head possible. And the, the box end is almost the same size as the regular uh, uh, end over here. So compare this to a regular box end, you're going to see that it's really, really close. The difference is minimal. So you get the benefit of the ratcheting end without an increase in size. So if you can look at it right here, you're going to see that it is very, very similar. I know this is an open end over here, but the, diff, the size, the thickness is going to be the same as a non-ratcheting box end. So this comes in very handy to have on hand, not very expensive, lifetime warranty, metric or SAE. And you're going to wonder what took you so long to get these because they are really convenient to have. I get them into really tight places and you can just keep on going and ratchet away and not have to worry about taking it off, putting it back on, flipping it, around, whatever you need to do. So keep these in, uh, in mind. I think they're a very good tool to have on hand. Moving right along. And talking about ratchets, let's move on to flex head ratchets. Now these are not made so much uh, for strength or torque as the previous ones were, but these are more meant for convenience of getting into weird places, weird angles, etc. The flex head on this flexes 180 degrees, 
in you know the two directions like that and I have two different flavors here had the extended length and the regular length so I got these a while back <laughs> it seems like all my tools I got a while back but uh, they've been very good to me I haven't had any problem whatsoever they're both a 3 8 inch drive and the reason I like these is because and, and I got them in 3 8 and not half inch is because the half inch head as you can see here is going to be much thicker so sometimes you need to get into really tight places and the head on the 3 8 like this one here is going to be a lot thinner than the half inch so for torquing and big items and so forth you go for the half inch for tight little places you want to go for the 3 8 so these are very good items I think they're around 20 something dollars each not very expensive your traditional forward and reverse or on off switch on the back here flexible head any weird angle and if they get a little loose you can always retighten them with an allen wrench and if they get too loose and you can't retighten them you can take them back and get another one being a Pittsburgh it does have a lifetime warranty on it and the floppy head is considered a warranty return so you can always take it back and get another one and Pittsburgh has a nice convenient uh, handle here so it's, it's not your metal handle like this one it's a comfort grip so it's a little bit less stress on your hand so this is going to be a bit more troublesome easier to clean but it will tire you out more over time so there you go two different uh, 3 8 inch drive ratchets can I got them both you can get one or the other whatever you prefer moving right along and moving right along we're gonna look at the Pittsburgh torque wrench now I happen to have the one half inch right here they do sell the half inch the three eighths and the one quarter so depending on what you need you can either buy one or all three now these um, I'll have to look up what they sell for regularly but they do put them on sale all the time I think I got this on sale for around 10 bucks it's pretty good has a lifetime warranty and it does come with its own case for it keep it in its case all the time so you keep it protected helps with the calibration pull it out of the case and you can see it is a good strong ratchet it has the click type back here so adjust it up and down to whatever you need it to be at always zero it back out that way you uh, maintain your calibration if you put it away on the torque spec you're going to throw off your calibration if it sits there for too long so when you finish using it always bring it back down to zero you want to do that to hold on to your calibration and uh, aside from that it's like your regular uh, ratchet forward and reverse back here it is reversible but they don't recommend you use it for reversing they recommend you only do that if it gets stuck for some reason and you need to back it out so always go forward with this it is not meant for reversing and there you go your typical head good amount of detents on there a lot of different teeth inside here so you don't have to go too crazy on it and it's a, a good size so you should do quite well with this and again lifetime warranty Pittsburgh item it comes with the instructions the warranty all that kind of good stuff in here I always keep it in this case helps with the calibration keep it nice and dry and clean and put it away and it should be there when you need it the next time let's move on to the next item for this I am recommending the Pittsburgh deep well sockets now these are the professional deep well sockets for uh, use with impact tools they probably do have the chrome ones if you prefer chrome I went with this because go big or go home these are much stronger gonna last you a lot better you can use them for both hand tools and you can use them with the uh, impact wrenches air tools that kind of thing you're not gonna have to worry about it and uh, you know if they do wallow out where they start getting a little bit funky on the inside here you can always take them back cover it under the warranty no problem whatsoever this is the metric one I think I got this on sale for about 18 19 dollars something like that I put up the regular price whatever it is I always get all my tools either on sale from the catalog if it's on sale with a coupon something along those lines so my prices occasionally may be off because I always look for the best deal possible 
Let's look at some wobble adapters. Now Harbor Freight sells these wobble adapters. This is a set where you get two, you get the half inch and the three eighths drive. They do sell some wobble sockets where you can get an entire set of sockets with the wobble head on it. But I didn't want to go through that. I already have pretty much every size I need in my sockets, both uh, impact rated and the regular chrome ones. And I didn't want to have just another set of sockets with the wobble on it. So if you don't want to do that either, if you want to go the way I did, I recommend these wobble adapters. And the good thing about this is that, again, you can use this with all the half inch drive or all the three eighths inch drives that you already have. And the good thing about these is that, again, this one is impact rated. So lifetime warranty, anything happens, you can take it back, get it returned. It's a Pittsburgh brand and it gets you into weird places because you can see you can twist the head around to whatever direction you need it to go. So this is quite useful on some of the modern cars where it's very, very difficult getting into a lot of places and you gotta twist your wrench in all sorts of weird angles and directions just to be able to fit it in. So whether you go, well, whether you need the half or whether you need the three eighths, either way, it's a set, it brings them both and you're gonna be covered. So this is not very expensive. I'll put up whatever the current price is I got it on sale. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was not a lot. So obviously that tells you it wasn't anything that stuck in my brain for a long time, but it's a good set. I definitely recommend these. Be sure to keep these in your toolbox. You're going to need them someday and you're going to be glad you had them. So there we go. And the next item talking about wobble sets, wobble extensions. Now this is a regular extension. I'm going to use this for comparison in a moment. I bought an entire set of these. I think it's like 10 of them, different sizes. They have the large, the medium, the small, all sorts of different ones. And it comes three eighths, half, whatever. It has a multitude of them. It has 10 different uh, extensions in the set. And this is also a wobble extension. You can see right there, the head is a little different. You can compare the regular head of the extension, put them all set there, the regular extension out here to the wobble extension back here. And the reasoning for that, you can see this one is square. This one is a bit of an odd shape. The reason for doing that is because this one has a couple different uses to it. You can use it like a regular extension where you put it into a socket, push it all the way in, and it's a regular extension. You just, you know, twist and go. You're ready to go. But if you pull it out just a tiny bit, then you can use it as a wobble where you can see, for, consider this to be a regular socket, okay? You can twist it around so if you need to get deep, far into a certain area, this will give you the flexibility to twist it around wherever you need to go. And you combine the two, this one with this adapter, and again, gives you way more flexibility as far as whatever angle you need to go. Look at one place here, look at how I can twist it in so many different directions. So two different wobbles mixed together, while you can reach almost anything with this flexibility that these two give you together. So that's why they're both good to have on hand. So the wobble extension, again, a set of 10, they may have different sets, but I have the set of 10 of them. And uh, it was around $10 I think I paid when I got it with a coupon or on sale, whatever the case was. But you can get it, uh, whatever the current price may be, but always look for sales or coupons. So there you go, guys. We covered the uh, top 10 hand tools from Harbor Freight. If I missed any tools that you think would be useful to put into this list or another list, be sure to put them down below in the comments. I'll be sure to make another list if I get enough comments uh, or if you have suggestions for other top 10 lists. Be sure to put them down in the comments. I always read the comments and I love to hear what you guys have to say about this stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.